Yellow. It's me. Oh. I'm sorry to bother you while you're resting, but can I have a word with you? Yeah, come on in. Good morning. Good morning. There's something I need to tell everyone, but I think it would be best if you saw it for yourself. Come to the fourth floor meeting room when you get home tonight, okay? Okay. I'll see you then. Does this mean we have a new mission? I don't know, but the alarm's not ringing. The doggo? What the hell are you? I beg your fucking pardon? Are you okay? Where'd you get this collar? Uh, guys. That collar is designed to help control his persona. In other words, it's an evoker for dogs. Wait, does that mean he'll be going into battle? It was a surprise for me as well, but according to the tests, it's quite possible. In fact, it was the chairman's suggestion. We'll be looking after him here in the door. Is that okay with you, Koro-chan? Good boy. He said, I'll return the favor. Man, you're one loyal dog. Ain't that the truth? Good boy. Hey, hey, make yourself at home. The more the merrier, right? Who cares if you're a dog? All right, I'll take him for a walk. It's summer break after all. Yes, it is. Enjoy your vacation while you can. Summer classes start next week. I'll see to it that you graduate. Right. Hey, good one, senpai. You almost had me there. Oh, it's no joke. We'll be taking intensive courses. I've already applied for all of them. What the fuck were you think? Why? Why would you do that? Why would you do that, sweet redheaded? I know how difficult it's been balancing school and our late night excursions. No shit. You haven't had much time to study. I apologize for that. <sighs> That's why the chairman agrees that this is a good idea. I thought I told Takeban Yamagishi. No. Wait. Are you serious? This is the first I've heard of it. Um, sorry. I forgot to mention it. What do you mean you forgot to mention it? I there is a reason I am over here graduating college and only have a $25,000 student loan debt that I need to take care of. It's not that big of a deal. However, that doesn't mean I want to go back. Oh man. Hey, with your grades, you should be thanking her. Yeah, right. Oh. Don't you think? <sighs> Who cares? That's whatever. Well, it's only for a few weeks, so let's make the most of it. Damn it! You spot something underneath Koromaru's paw. Would you like to get up? Yes. It's a red fountain. Oh my god! It was the pen at the. Okay, I know what I'm doing Sunday. Oh, the pen is in your possession. Is that my missing fountain pen? Yes, it is. Welcome home, dear friend. Thank you for finding it for me. My name is Akinari Kamiki. Have a seat if you'd like. I'll write something with the two of us. I remember you. You're the guy who was playing with the elementary school girl. She was very bright. Her face shone with the warm light of a new life. And then there's me, cooped up in the hospital, struggling to breathe. Compared to her light, I'm but a vanishing shadow. <sighs> Misery is a harsh mistress. I feel as though I'm lying in an unyielding darkness. Can you understand how I feel? No, I can't. I don't think so. 
any day now, I'm going to die. I have a genetic disease without any known cure. Unless you're in my situation, you can't understand what it's like. But I prefer it that way. I wouldn't wish this on anyone. There isn't anything you can do to slow this down or make things better. I'm sorry. Sorry about that. Didn't mean to depress you or anything. <sighs> I haven't spoken to someone my own age in a long time. It's natural for those in darkness who yearn for the world of light. I'm glad we can meet, though. If there's a god, I'd be able to thank him soon enough. The sun! Oh my god! Alright. Let's hope we can do this. However, I would rather you not come here ever again. You only live once, right? So why waste your life among the dying? Goodbye. I know it's hot, everyone, but let's try to get through class. Focus, focus! You must all be very curious students to be taking this course over the summer. I'm not really sure what to make of that. Anyway, let's talk about something interesting today. All you future magicians will want to pay close attention. Today's subject is tarot. That's right, these cards are often used in fortune telling. Originating in 15th century Europe as normal playing cards, tarot cards evolved into tools of divination. A variety of different versions of tarot card decks exist, including the Marcial and Rider decks. But today, in respect of the great magician Crowley, we will be using the Throth deck. Let's talk about the composition of the deck. The modern 78 card tarot deck is divided into two parts. 22 Major Arcana, the face cards, and 56 Minor Arcana, the number cards. The Minor Arcana are sometimes called pips. The Major Arcana feature a variety of illustrations on their faces, beginning with the Fool and ending with the World. They tell a story in numerical order that is a metaphor of an individual's journey through life. Each Major Arcana represents a stage on that journey an experience that the individual must incorporate to realize his oneness. They're all important, so let's take a look at each of the 22 cards one by one. The first card, number zero, is the Fool, representing the beginning and suggests infinite possibilities. The next, the Magician, represents action and initiative, but also immaturity. The Priestess represents contemplation and inner knowledge. The Empress represents motherhood and the life it brings forth. The Emperor is its opposing card, representing fathering and relates to leadership and decision-making skills. The Hierophant represents formality, knowledge, and stands for religion. The Lovers represents choice. Here, the individual's consciousness has finally surfaced. The Chariot represents victory for the individual, but only a momentary one. Justice represents the knowledge of what is right and what is wrong. The Hermit represents the individual's search for answers by looking inward, deep inside his heart. Fortune represents fate and the opportunities that come with it. Strength represents both passion and self-control, depicted as power with reason. The Hanged Man reflects the individual's inability to take action. Spiritual death awaits the individual with a 13th card, which is aptly named Death. It's considered a transitional card. The old ends and the new begins. Now let's continue along the path following the transition. Temperance is the balancing of opposites, opening his eyes to the world, allowing the individual to grow. And the devil represents what he faces, temptation. The tower, his values collapse on him. It seems as if he is no longer anything to believe in, but he finds a glimmer of hope represented by the star, and he is suffused with a serene calm. This bliss makes him vulnerable to the illusions of the moon. Fears arise, and he follows the dim path in his heart with trepidation. But he is rewarded with a bright future represented by the sun, which signifies true achievement. Judgment awaits the individual at the end of the journey as he looks back on the path he has traveled. The final card is the world, which represents the individual's full awareness of his place in the world. 
That is the growth of an individual explained by the tarot cards. Perhaps all this talk about life doesn't hit home with you young folks just yet. <laughs> now you can use all 78 cards to divine the future in detail. But most people only use the 22 major arcana. Next, we'll talk about how to tell fortunes using those arcana. First, you shuffle the cards, and if a card is reversed, it meaning, its meaning will change, so it's important. Your academics has changed from smart to intelligence. Sweet. I overcooked my meal the other day. I didn't want to throw it away, so I gave it to Koromaru, but he wouldn't eat it. That bummed me out. I mean, I know I burned it, but I didn't think it was that bad. Kuromaru seems dispirited. Ah, <laughs> that's awesome. He wouldn't need it. <laughs> it. Cracks me up. Before I enlighten you today, do you notice anything different about me? Like what? Are you blind? Seems offended. I had an appointment at the spa for a facial peel. Isn't my skin simply radiant now? I'm afraid it's all part of the job. I have my fans to think of. At home, I'm completely opposite. I dress like a slob and only shower once every three days. Let me give you an analogy. President Tanaka seems to be thinking. Uh, vegetables. Perfect. Imagine an organically grown cucumber that looks deformed. Compare that to a cucumber that looks perfect but was grown using chemical fertilizers and pesticides. Which one do you think the supermarket would stock? The one that looks good. That's a simple truth. Awkward shaped cucumbers are difficult to stack, so stores prefer nice, straight ones. Taste and safety are not really considered. Instead, they carry cucumbers that don't even that even mold would eat. So why do consumers still buy these cucumbers when they know the truth? People trust what they see. Appearance matters most. That's why, as much as I hate spending money, I buy expensive ties to win people's trust. Wait, you remember what I just said? About me dressing like a slob and not showering every day? Don't tell anyone. I can't afford to have a people believing I'm ordinary. I only said that because it was you. You're the only one who knows. I understand living like an ordinary person. It's totally... Welcome to the reality of it. Rank seven, baby! That devil arcana is growing strong. Hey, guys. Dear, Shake John is here. So would you please cheer up? I understand that reasoning. But if that tree is removed, I feel like the memory of my son will vanish with it. Please stop quarreling. We're fine. We're not fighting. I was just fretting. Sorry to make you worry. <laughs> Apparently, the rumor was true. They're going to cut down the persimmon tree. Shit. So we went to the school to say goodbye. But that just reminded Mitsuko of our son's death. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, what do I tell? Cheer up, or it'll be okay. There's a way to phrase this. It'll be okay. See, dear, that's exactly what I said. If you keep crying all the time, what will your admirers think? Right, Chai chan Take that, baby. Level six. Oh, Junpei. Man, it's scorching hot out here. I bet. Shoot, it's already the 20th. Summer break's almost over. Fuck. Too bad there's nothing to do. Hmm. <sighs> This place is so boring. Oh, shit. 
Get out of my way. I can't see. Move. Uh, sorry. What do you want? Uh, nothing. My bad. Dude, what's with that outfit? And what the hell is she drawing? Man, I'll never understand art. <laughs> oh, well. Hey, I've been waiting for you. Let's go eat. Sure. Let's see what, who can eat faster. Loser has to run 100 laps around the city. Ready? You have the courage to face him. You accept the challenge. Shit. Never felt like... Is eating takagaki at an extremely fast pace. Seems like a good opportunity for a eating competition. What's your eating strategy? Uh, fuck. Uh, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Uh, you, you uh, swallow the takayaki whole. Uh, that's a lightning swallow technique. Daunting, but quick. Mmm, yum. Forego chewing as well. You finish your meals at the same time. Shit. Whew, looks like that's a tie. I'm impressed. Not many people can match my eating speed. Oh man. I expected to lose, actually. <laughs> I thought I might lose, too. I am off my game lately. You had a lot of guts challenging me at Takayaki, so I'm impressed. You have a lot of potential. Star athlete Mamoru Hayase has become an acquaintance. Nice. And that is something new. Oh shit, Star. Well, Star Arcana. Alrighty, that is uh, a new thing. Yeah, dang, I wasn't expecting something that quick. Neither was I. In my opinion, a tie might as well be a loss, you know? As promised, I'm gonna start my laps around the city. You can do whatever you think is best. You put up a good fight today. See you around. The shrine. This facility is very similar to a temple. It is a shrine. Now that I'm actually here, I sense mysterious presences. But they are markedly different than shadows. I shall first observe the local traditions and worship at the shrine. Oh my god, no, that's too much money! Oh, no! That is a lot of fucking money. Why Why are you doing... Uh, Elizabeth, why? Why? Why do you do this? Just leave her be. I have finally finished presenting my offering. Though I usually do not reside in this world. I wonder if I too may receive divine grace. I wonder, this system of monetary offerings is very similar to that of the wishing fountain. There are many places in your world for supplicants to request good fortune. You live in a wondrous place. Could those paper strips tied there be... Be what? Oh. As I thought, they're paper fortunes. I've heard of this game, where people entrust their destiny to a slip of paper and exult in the risk. I see. There are many possible destinies written on them. Well, then, I'd like to experiment with this for myself. Please wait here while I work on obtaining all of them. All of them? You decide to wait until Elizabeth is satisfied. That was a very long time there, Elizabeth. I hope you're happy. Excuse me. I've been curious ever since we arrived. But what are those things over there? Hmm? Oh, the playground? If memory serves, these are a slide and a jungle gem. You got it right. The inner self is exposed to any true god. Their magnanimity of spirit excuses all. 
And that being the case. Ah! You are gutsy for doing that. One must first claw one's way to the top before relaxing in luxury. Mm. This playground equipment teaches a profound lesson on the true way of the world. Mm, I agree. That was a lot of fun. Now, could you please instruct me in the use of this jungle gym? I can't get out. Sure you can. That's what she said. Shut up, Shade! Today was even more enjoyable than our other excursions out. To be honest, I've wondered lately. What have you wondered? Is this world enjoyable to you? Simply because of the novelty of the stimuli it presents. It could also be that I... Well, perhaps I may, in truth, be enjoying our time together because... We are together. In any event, I believe I'll open negotiations with my master to bring a horizontal bar into our room. Ooh, hope that goes I'd like well. To accompany you again sometime.